Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's King Greco, the Call of Duty Kleptomaniac, and I have an arcade and special ops gameplay for you guys. And the first thing you notice is that I shoot some guys sitting inside of a bush. I, people don't even do that inside multiplayer, so I'm kind of surprised. And special ops, I'm playing on arcade, in, which is in, which has insane difficulty, which means that you don't start off with a quick revive. This game mode is going to be so much harder than regular that they actually start you off with a red dot sight M16. The other one starts you off with pistols, so, you know, that just, that's just something to, I guess, expect when you play Special Ops on the higher levels. And, for some reason, Special Ops doesn't seem to be that popular on YouTube. Well, I, maybe it is popular, but people just aren't uploading it, and I'm surprised because people love zombies and people have zombie channels, so I figured that they would do that with this too, but, oh well. And the first thing I bought was the self-revive because that is probably the most important thing you could have. In my opinion, that's right up there with Juggernog inside of Zombies. Now, when I, ever since the very first game I played, well, I said the first game I played, I, I wasn't that good because I didn't understand what I was doing. But every game after that, up until today, it always seems like I am the, the better player out of the two people whenever you have to play with somebody else. So I decided I'm just going to start playing single player because I can't find a decent specialized player regardless of what level they are. It always seems like the game ends because I'm busy reviving them because they want to camp inside some corner somewhere where they get trapped by a juggernaut. And it gets frustrating because it makes me feel like I wasted half an hour or, or more depending on how far you go. But I don't know if, if if people are good at special ops or, you know, if you like special ops and you're looking for a teammate, you know, hit me up. But this one's a solo game. This is my second time playing on arcade and the first time I played I went to a wave, I think. 16 and my own claymore blew me up somehow i don't understand how that happened so i decided to do it twice and now i got now i went down this into second chance or whatever it is inside this game and i had to target one enemy so i can get up because when you go down inside special ops the only way to get up is to either be revived or if you have quick revive you can you can just target an enemy and if you kill him you get to come back you get to get back up or, if you can't get an enemy, you have to wait around until your bar goes up. But when they're shooting you, your bar goes down. So, if you're playing solo, the first thing you need to do is find the closest enemy and unload everything you have on him with that pistol. And, so I've already been, been down twice, and that's a waste of money. As you guys can see, I get promoted. I unlock the sniper rifle I'll never use. The special ops is a lot of fun. I really suggest people try it. I'm going to try to give whatever tips I can inside of the, while you guys are watching this gameplay. And I hope that it helps. Now that's a juggernaut. It's round six. They have a juggernaut and a helicopter. Inside a regular mode, all they have is two helicopters. That's it. But this one, they have juggernaut, helicopters, attack dogs, and regular enemies. So this is insane difficulty. This is what it looks like. And I'm just trying to reload, get some health back, try to avoid the helicopter, and take down the juggernaut. First, I get rid of all of his friends because those guys will get, though they will get annoying fast. Like you're trying to outrun the helicopter while you're getting shot at. That's not a good idea. So, get rid of all the other guys. Then, go after the juggernaut, juggernaut or the helicopter. I usually go after the helicopter second and leave the juggernaut for last because he's the slowest one of them. And the best way to take out helicopters is, in my opinion, I say get under them. Or you can use a predator missile, and if you have two people, it's much easier to do it. But if you're playing solo, I like to stand directly under them so they cannot shoot you. And I'll just hip fire them until they go down. And the juggernaut, the best way to take down them, I would say, is to probably use flash grenades. Always stock up on flash grenades because they do not give you any at the beginning of, of this difficulty. Insane. And you see I'm staying under him, but the juggernaut's getting in my way. He's shooting at me. So I have to get back out of there, reload, regroup, get my health back, and then go back and try to take down the attack helicopter. There it is. So yeah, I was saying the flash grenade, they don't give you any. You have to, you have to go buy them. They cost a thousand. They cost more than frag grenades, but they're useful. You can use them on everybody, and it's effective. Very. And I'm out of ammo in my M16, and I was out of ammo in my AK-47, so I ran and picked up, I ran and found some ammo and finished around. And that's what Wave 6 looks like <laughs> in Special Ops. It's a, it's a lot harder than regular. The ACR is a beast in Special Ops. It is, look at that, look at that nasty gangster kill cam right there. He flipped him over his shoulder and shot him in the face. That is the Delta team. You can actually buy them when you're playing inside of Solo and in team inside of a multiplayer special ops but 
they help out, but when the juggernauts come, they're kind of useless because they just, they're like human targets. They get taken down so fast. And look at this. This is wave 11, I believe, and we have to go take down attack doors with explosives. We have to go take down, like, many juggernauts inside the armor. We have to go take down actual juggernauts, th two of them, and an attack helicopter. So this is... This one's a little hectic for this for one round. But it's, you know, it's insane, so what can you say? I bought a perk, Quick Draw, because you can actually have a perk and self revive. Self revive does not count as your perk. Because I notice a lot of people I play with, they will not buy a perk because they're afraid to lose it. And I use Quick Draw because there's lots of times where I'm, where I'm, I don't like to get shot at while I'm aiming down sights or it takes, feel like it's taking too long. Sometimes I use Stalker. It depends on how I feel. There's only like a couple of levels, like the outdoor levels. Those are the ones I'll use extreme conditioning on. And like I said before, I'm trying to take down all the regular enemies so I can take, so I can just isolate the juggernauts and the the attack helicopter. And the the juggernauts get much stronger. They will, like as you guys can see, I have an LMG now. I got I got myself an upgrade, a uh, new toy to play with. Because LMG, they're expensive. They're 7,000, but it's worth it for the amount of ammo that you get in them. Usually, I like to, I like to switch up every gun I use depending on um, what level I'm on. Sometimes I use a, a P90 or... some. I might even use the, the Marks... The Mark... Was it 1614? You know that one-shot assault rifle. And I missed my Predator missile. I missed it. That's something that they try not to do. Like, recently, I've been... inside. When I play insane difficulty, I like to use... Uh, what is it called? Precision airstrike. But when I play anything other than insane, I might use the predator missile. In my opinion, it's best used for multiplayer because there's so many times you can get attacked while you're calling it in. So, but that was my fault completely just now. The reason why I missed it, it's not because of the difficulty or anything. So I'm just trying to add a few shots to the juggernaut and then get out of there. I got rid of one juggernaut and now the only one left is the one with the riot shield, and that one's annoying because sometimes he'll fall down and have the shield completely covering him inside the area that you're shooting at him from and look at how many shots he took when you're about to kill the riot shield juggernaut he will drop his riot shield and just become an assault juggernaut when you're about to kill the assault juggernaut he will start running at you and shooting so yeah so now I need to go buy another weapon I decided I'm gonna have two LMGs at the same time this was, I think, this one of the only two maps I've done that on. I like to have variety when I play, but I wanted to have two LMGs for once. And look at this gun go. You just shoot them. And right now I'm waiting inside the, the stairway area of this level because it it gives me enough time to react to anybody that comes. And inside of inside of this one, you have every type of enemy available. There are the... Uh, they're the explosive outfitted dogs. You have the explosive enemies, regular ones. You have the you have the the claymore experts. You have the bomb squads. You have the what is the other enemy? The the mini juggernauts I'm fighting right now that are dropping those rapid fire FADs. And you also have to go take on the look at that thing right there. That guy. He tried to go leave one of those things for me at my equipment. It's like one of those gas guys that used to have like the little crawler zombie inside of Black Ops. You have to go take on all these enemies at once. And those guys are probably the most annoying because I do not like the idea of me not being able to run for cover. And that guy caught me by surprise, so I'm going like crazy trying to target him before anybody else gets here. I get up, and I cannot make it to the self-revive in time, so I go there at the end of the level. Because you don't want to die going there. So, now, this is wave 16. They have attack choppers. They have juggernauts. They have explosive dogs. They have basically everything I just told you about in the last round. They are all here from this point out. The I feel bad shooting the dogs, but you know, I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to get my head ripped off by Fido. See, right now I'm just going throughout the level because when you have multiple juggernauts, you cannot sit in any corner, you cannot sit in any any room, you cannot sit inside a staircase. You have to just keep moving and try to separate your enemies. Don't let them swarm in on you and flank you from both sides. I'm trying to stay under that attack helicopter because I need to get rid of it before I keep going because it can shoot me from almost anywhere other than this staircase. Another reason why I like this staircase a lot. I have all my enemies lined up now so now I can kind of sit here for a little while but I can't stay here for long because this LMG takes an hour to reload. 
Now at this point I believe there's only there's only one two regular enemies, a, a juggernaut and a attack helicopter, so right now I got rid of all the regular ones and I'm trying to stay alive because I have self revive but I don't want to have to use it now. That they they keep setting up all these little explosives that make me go slow. Luckily I got through them because I'm not trying to go slow when I'm running away from an attack helicopter. Inside this, I always say keep moving. A lot of people like to camp inside of zombies and inside of this mode also. I think it shows a, as a reflection on their multiplayer game style, but camping isn't always the most effective. It, it can get you to 20 easily, but after a while, they're going to come at you from so many angles that camping just won't work. And that's why I play solo now, because my, my teammates usually always camp, and I can't revive them all the time, because after a while, you only get 30 seconds. And if you only have 30 seconds, I, I didn't miss my Predator Missile that time. But if you only have 30 seconds, you're not really going to get a chance to get all over the map. And that was gruesome right there. That was very, very gruesome. I flashed him and I put a, basically an entire LMG clip into the back of his head. The LMGs are effective, but it's not the strongest. How did he just survive a knife? He doesn't even have Juggernaut armor on, but these enemies are getting tougher. I'm pretty, I only played this, this is the last time I played this map, I only played it twice, that's the, the first time and then this time directly, directly right after. I'm pretty sure if I go back I can do this one again and just make it much further, but I'm pretty much going to show you guys the last couple of rounds inside of this one, and almost in full, because I want you to see how difficult it can get, and at the same time I want you to see how it can, it's really my fault while this stuff ends. I got I called in the Delta Squad because I wanted all the help I can get. I knew it was getting harder. I had the cash because I get a lot of rampages and I get a lot of kill streaks. A rampage is when you get five kills inside a short period of time. A kill streak is when you get four kills without taking any damage in between. So if you the best way to do that is by using the explosive guys to your advantage. You shoot them once, you leave them on the floor, your, their teammates come by them and they blow them up for you. You can get an easy rampage or kill streak like that. Or you can just flash them and use C4. I didn't really use C4 that much this game, but C4 is effective. You can kill a juggernaut in about I think 8 C4. So you have to use everything the game provides to you. Normally I like to use sentry guns, but I didn't really use it this game because the juggernauts and attack helicopters took them out every two seconds. And I was getting nervous about this round, so I called in the expensive task force. I called in those, that, uh, the Riot Shield Squad. And they take 30 seconds to get in, but they can be worth it at times. They, they can take a lot of shots to you while you're trying, to, you're trying to break free. And look at this round. This is round 19. They have attack helicopters, juggernauts, everything all over again. It's basically, from here on out, it's just going to be difficult. There's no way around it. You just got to be smart, got to keep moving, and you have to be aware of your surroundings. And also, don't be cheap. Buy equipment. Do not. A lot of people I play with, they do not buy self revive. They'll be level 50, and they won't buy self revive. And I don't understand why. Do not be cheap. Otherwise, you're wasting your time, and you might as well quit. And look at this. Look at that right there. This LMG puts in so much work. Oh, the dog is coming at me. I gotta re I gotta replenish my health because you do not want to get caught by three guys holding FADs while you're reloading. I'm trying to cook a grenade. I got one of them. These guys are so tough. It takes like two grenades to take them out. My ammo's running low in my LMG, but luckily I have a second one. That ammo is not the greatest either, but I can't really re reload it right now because there's so many enemies on the second floor. And I didn't I didn't wasn't paying attention and I. I got taken down, and I can't target the one enemy, so this is where the game ends for me. It's unfortunate, but Special Ops is a lot of fun. I recommend you try it. And this is just to show my ranking on the leaderboard, number 424 after my second try. Let me know which level you guys want to see next.